Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this video tutorial we are going to be looking at how to UV unwrap a simple humanoid character. So I'm going to be explaining some stuff as we go as well as the theory of sort of unwrapping as well a little bit. So, um, you know, take from what you want from this tutorial. I hope some of you find it helpful uh, if you've never done any UV unwrapping before. So I'm going to put this into a few different sections. So I'm going to segment off the head two different arms, two legs and the body. So six pieces and we will get started using the head. So if I look at my UV edit, uh, I'm just going to delete the current UV tag. I don't want you to think that I've cheated and just gone ta-da. So if we have a look at our UV edit mode, you can see that we now don't have any UVs whatsoever. Okay, it is completely blank. So I'm just going to create some very quickly and I'm going to use one of my um, different views as well. So there we go. The front projection is normally good for the majority of the stuff that you'll use, but it will depend on where your seams are. And I'll get to talking about seams in a second. So I need to create a basic UV map to start with. Yeesh. Um, let me go to the settings first. Let's not do spherical, shall we? Let's do front. OK, and just click OK, and there we go. We get exactly that. So all of the polygons are overacting, uh, overlapping, and it's not very pleasant whatsoever. So what we need to do, we need to use a few of the tools up here. OK, so particularly that one, that one, and that one. So UV polygon, uh, UV points, and edges. So the UV polygon means that what we'll do is we select the polygons that we want to use. So I am going to... Uh, get my selection tool and then I'm going to paint the selection to make sure that I have got all of my UV points okay that I want to use okay there we go so what I'm doing is I'm making sure I'm stopping at a particular loop as well so that it doesn't just carry on so that this fits its way across I mean maybe I could go one more loop um, but I might use that for the body. It's um, a much of a muchness, really. It depends what you're going to be doing with your character. If he's going to, you know, if that's where the head is going to start, and there's going to be a shirt underneath or something, or, or so on and so forth. And then, so this determines that these are the polygons that we are going to unwrap first. Then I need to use my edge tool to select where I'm going to cut. So I'm going to cut there. So that says this is where I will cut from this is a separate edge and then you can't unwrap something that doesn't have any edges so imagine like a cardboard box you know you've got to think that it it's got to splay out and split at some point and most people quite rightly will choose the back of the head so I'm going to shift select there and then shift control click and that gives me a line all the way ooh dear, all the way down um, to that particular area which means that it will split up to here okay so it will look like someone has got a seam on the back of their head and they have ripped it ripped their skin off from the round of the back it's a bit of a grim analogy but to be honest that is what we do so using the relax uv command okay i've already got my frontal projection so that's not going to change using my relax uv commands i've got a few sections here uh, i'm just going to untick pin borders that means that it would stay within its border range which is not what i want i want this to unwrap completely differently okay um cut selected edges so i have said it i have told cinema 4d where i want my edges to go uh, where I want it to be cut all the way up and this is another pinpoint selection this sort of says I've got some points that I want to stay exactly where they are and that's what that will use at the moment I don't have any points selected so I am going to just select a few points along the front to know that this is sort of the middle this is where I want it to stay okay so that's the most useful one. so that's the pinpoint selection there and then I've got cut selected edges I've got my polygon selected uh, ABF is the um, algorithm I'm going to use to unwrap and then I'm going to click apply and boom there is my unwrapped head okay although it does seem to be a little bit uneven I'm not quite sure why 
Um, so occasionally you may need to re-click or use the other algorithm. Okay, so LSCM seems to have worked better on that one, although we do have some uh, little bits of an issue there. So you may always need to go back into and just readjust one of your um, points just so that it, it fits with the rest. But that was relatively simple. Okay, oh, that might be why it's gone a little bit crazy. Can you see I've got some accidental polygons there? So if I undo, okay, it probably means it didn't unwrap entirely equally because there are some polygons missing. And that would mean that it doesn't know which side has more or less polygons on it. So it might just be worth doing that, just doing a quick move. Make sure you've got everything. Oops. Oh, still missed that one. There we go. Okay, so polygon selected, point selected, edges selected. Let's try the ABF again. There we go. That's much more equal now because I had missed some polygons. So note to self, make sure that you get all of the polygons to start with. So with that UV map happily done, there we go for the face. It might be a little bit squidged in the center, but you you know you could live with that really. It's not too bad. That is the face unwrapped. So where to go from here? Um, I'm going to be working on the body to start with. Okay, so I'm going to select my polygons. This time I'm going to use this side and make sure I'm selecting all of the way through and I shall do a test first as well. So let's make sure I get all of those and I'm going to stop at that seam there for the arm. And I'm going to select the body. Okay, so I've got that loop and under there as well. So if we just have a look at our model there, can you see any missing polygons? One way to test, just going to hold down E and then move the body out of the way. Okay, press undo. And then let's move it out. I don't think there are any missing, so that's fine by me. Okay, so now we need to unwrap this and we need to choose where the seams are going to be. Now, I already have that seam selected, which is very useful. So, oops, um, then I'm going to U and L and I'm going to select some other seams there, which is where it would detach from the arms. And then I need to look underneath and I need to pick this outer one as well, which it should let me do. Let me see. There we go. There we go. Okay, and that detaches ooh, that detaches it from the legs. And then we need to choose the seam that it is going to remove. We need to get rid of the ones at the top for the head that we don't need. So just control click those. And then I'm going to uh, shift click there. And as before, control shift click to go all the way across and select that join so that it will unwrap. Okay, so they are the scenes that I am most happy with there. I've got my polygons. Now it's time for my uh, point selection to say pin these points because that's where basically the center, that's where I want it to unwrap from and to be roughly that sort of size. So I've got my pinpoint selected, I've got my edges done, I've got my polygons, click ABF, and there we go, boom. Okay, I now have the body unwrapped as well, lovely. So move that over there. Now it's time for the arms. Selecting the polygons is relatively simple now because I can just go whoop, okay. Um, there's another thing as well I'll teach you in a second. So that's quite useful. Now the arms are going to be slightly lengthier because we have to decide where we want that seam. 
So the two seams that, again, that we will definitely need are the two edges. So it's actually quicker to uh, probably select those than it is to deselect all of the others. I say that, and now this isn't going to play ball, is it? There we go. And now you need to decide where you want the seams. Now, looking at how other people have done um, hands and things like that, they, from what I look at, have a tendency of having a seam that runs all the way up the arm through the fingers and then one side of the thumb because then it unwraps so the thumb is like it's been split in half or your hand looks like it's been split in half with the thumb as the hinge so I'm going to follow suit so using my edge tool I mean if I just hover over there that's going to give me a rough idea of where that's going to go um, so using my move tool I'm going to shift select that oh I really wish I'd stop pressing that button and then I'm going to control shift that one okay and that and then control shift and then I'm going to go around and control shift shift because I think if I did control shift that one oh, actually that didn't do it too bad what if I control shift this way yeah, you see, it didn't quite know. Um, so I always go for one more and then control shift and then control shift. And now, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up that line and yes, I have got that. So I'm going to deselect that one. I wish I'd stop pressing control. That's the there we go. Oh, missed. Okay, so that will allow you to unwrap that hand. So the thumb will be a seam and all of this will go one side. So you'll have very simple polygons one side and then three sets of polygons the other for the top of the hands. So the underside will be slightly different, but ah, this is the trouble with moving to a PC and a Mac. Um, so now to do the other side. So that will unwrap that. Okay, now we need to choose where. So most of our seams are still at the back, as it were. That's where it unwraps from. So let's pick some points along the front, and we'll need to make sure that we pick roughly the same ones. Okay, so that's going to be. That one. That one. Okay, so we've got the same ones. So I have my polygon selected. We have our seams working their way through. I have the points that I want to click it uh, to constrain it. So click apply, and boom, there we go. We have the two islands. Um, not too bad, they don't overlap, they're done relatively nicely. So if I just deselect, oh, doesn't want to play ball. Oh, yeah, I need to be on the polygon mode. So Alt click will select that whole island, and then Alt click will select that whole island. And now we need to do the same thing for the legs. So select all of the polygons and then we need to do the same thing with the seams which is a real pain so U and L and we need to get the inside leg and then unwrap so I'm going to have a quick look and see where I think is best and I might start the other way. So if we have a look at the little toe. So same way as the hands, I am going to use the big toe as the sort of anchor point. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to unfold on the small toe. So that's the edges. We've got our polygon selected. Now for our points. 
So let's select that one and that one, that one and that one, that one and that one. And then let's click apply and see what we get. OK, not too bad. We get the toes unfurled and the little sort of pinky ones under there. Maybe we need to uh, try and get those spread out a bit. So what I might do, let's see if that makes a difference. Not particularly. Um, let's try LCM instead. No, that's even worse. OK. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that selection so that I don't have to reselect those again. And then I'm just going to maybe pull some of these points out a little bit. So each of the corner toes. And then selecting those and then do another one. And there we go. Oh, it reverses them. But nonetheless, it has sorted out that issue. They are a little bit clearer now and they're out of their way. So what we can do, another thing you can do is shift select all of those and we can use under optimal mapping, we can go to realign and you can equalize island size and that will try and get everything roughly the same. You can untick that and it will just try and refit them. Um, you might like what it does, you might not, so you might decide that actually you want to do it manually, you know, because um, you might be able to get things fitting in better, but that's entirely up to you. See, it's not going to take very long um, to just move them about, but you will end up, you know, scaling and rescaling stuff depending on what it is you want, and you know, it, it's really down to you and, and how sort of pernickety you want to be with it or what your job entails you to do depending on what you do and don't need you see I've now run out of room so you know you can just shift select everything in maybe stick all of those on and see what it does and you might find that it, it gives you something that you want or you might need to just um, experiment Another one, if you've got a layout like that that you're quite happy with, you can just do fit to UV canvas. That will squidge stuff down, um, but it does make it fit. So there you go. I hope that gave you the principles of being able to UV wrap and use the relax for a simple character. And thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk.